Association of Pakistan has announced that they, she will contest elections um, in the upcoming election, which is um, a great step in terms of uh, rights for transgenders in the country because if you see in the past, in the recent past only, that uh, they were a very vulnerable section of the society, depending on people's sympathy for their for their lives. Like they did not take any steps for themselves. But these days, they have started standing up for their own rights. Like uh, you see, there's a gender in Karachi who took admission at a medical college and is becoming a doctor. Then they have opened up a school in Karachi to teach uh, their community members, which is a good step. So uh, it's really good. The step is good in terms of. Uh, the fact that they will, they are now uh, taking steps to safeguard their own interests. If you see, there are about 50,000 transgenders in the country, and uh, just like all the other human beings, like all the children and all the women in the country uh, who have a separate representation, they also need representation because they have been neglected for quite a long time in the country. The problems that these people uh, face daily in the society include issues like. Uh, they don't get any jobs, they're neither accepted nor respected in the society. So it's very important that the government pays a lot of attention to these people because just like the women and children in the country who are vulnerable, these are, I think, more vulnerable than all the rest of the people because nobody, um, when it comes to taking a person seriously, nobody takes these people seriously. So I think that's their problem and uh, I don't think anyone else will be able to help themselves until and unless they take a stand on their own. Standing in the elections is a big step for these people because uh, previously they did not have any representation or throughout the history of Pakistan, not just in elections or anything else, they have never had any representation, they were not taken seriously. Uh, if you think practically they might not be able to get that many votes except from people uh, uh, from their own community but uh, their determination will show and the government will know that they are serious about getting their rights, they are serious about ending the discrimination against them. The Supreme Court recently ordered that they be given uh, NIC cards which are good which is a very good step for them because in a way you're recognizing or giving them all the rights of a citizen um, which is very important which is what they did not have before and they could not do a lot of things now they can uh, take admissions in uh, educational institutes they can even go for jobs the cantonment board uh, has a team of 17 transgenders who are working as tax collectors which is a very good step uh, on the part of the government and it's, it's sort of a recognition for these people. It's also an encouragement for all the others to see these people seriously and to give them jobs because whenever they go for uh, anything, they, they do not have uh, any means to earn their livelihood. So until and unless people recognize them as human beings who can deliver, who can do something, they won't get a chance to depend on themselves. They'll always be beggars or, or very useless part of the community unless we see them as humans and unless we give them jobs and, and trust them a bit.